whoever can do the biggest manu, I'll give a fish to when we get home. Oh, here we go. Oh, we have a winner. You, you get a fish. You get a fish when we get home. <laughs> he reckons he can beat it. Yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, mate. That was a good one. All right. The original jetty rats up there, look at them. <laughs> hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Battle Line Adventures. Uh, we're back home in our local area again now, Redland Bay. We're just heading out the marina. Uh, we're going to go camping at our favourite local camp spot, and that's over at Blakesley's Anchorage over at Stratty, North Stradbroke Island. So uh, we're going to head over there. Have a camp, meeting some mates over there. I'm gonna drop the pots off first. Uh, I put a um, bit of a thing on Instagram and Facebook the other day on uh, doing the jaws out of snapper, like boiling the jaws and, and making it so a bit of a trophy with the bigger fish that you can put on your wall instead of wasting it all. And heaps of people said, can you please do an episode on how to do it? So that's what we're gonna do. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and catch that big fish to, uh, to show you how to boil the jaws and do all that. It's not that hard. Um, that was my first time and it turned out good, eh? Yeah, mate. It's meant to be 15 knots at the moment. It's blowing about 20 to 25 knots. Doesn't look at here because it's westerly here and westerly is awesome for uh, this part of the bay on the mainland. But once we get over to Blakesley's, that westerly whips right in there and it'd be pretty crap. The only thing we do have on our favor is it's a really low tide and the sandbanks probably uh, uh, create a bit of coverage for us from the waves. So anyway, hopefully that wind does what it's meant to do. Backs out early this afternoon. We'll head out in the bay, see if we can get a big snapper or something. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna head offshore and that's where I think we'll get some good fish. So anyway, stay tuned. We're gonna uh, drop these pots in on the way and get out of the way of this ferry. You might win a fight against him. Pots. Says he. You drop the first one, and I'll drop the second one. And whoever gets more crabs in their pot, right? The one with less crabs has to eat an eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> no, because you eat them just like they're blueberries. friggin' blueberries. <laughs> That's I'll, good. I would like to. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> All right. I'll try my best. <laughs> Oh my, oh, okay. Yes. All right, keeper crabs? Yeah, keeper crabs, okay. most keeper crabs. Whoever gets the most keeper crabs in their pot for what? On the first check? Yeah. Or over the whole time? No, first, oh. Let's go whole time. Whole time. All right, over the whole time. <laughs> All right, loser has to eat a friggin' eyeball. Legal keeping crabs. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, everyone remember, Sezzi's is right out the front of this green beacon, furthest to the south. Right, I let her in. I sort of like that spot. Bring me luck. Bring me luck. Oh, do you reckon this is the spot?
home sweet home. A little bit nervous about this fish eye thing, I won't lie. Anyway. You came up with it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Got to make something interesting in case we don't catch a fish. You hope we don't catch anything. Hope we don't catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good idea. Have a go at it. Blow your bloody hat off, look. <laughs> it'll back off, surely it'll back off. Righto, well, been here for about an hour and a half now. The wind has no signs of dying down at all. Still blowing good 20, excuse me, good 20 knots, so. We've come up with a little game that might keep things interesting. Maddie and Jade, they got a little Frenchie and a Maltese Terrier. And uh, what we're gonna do is they're arguing before over who the dogs like the most. Sarah had seen a thing on TikTok where they put the kid in the middle and the parents run each way and the kid chooses which parent to follow. So we're gonna do it with the dogs. This is one of our good friends, Jade. She'd be so shy. <laughs> None of them like the camera. What's it like? Come here and talk to the camera with no. me. Come and talk to the camera with me. No. Who, do, who does your dogs like more, you or Matt? They're my dogs. The Jade's dogs, so that's an extra kick in the guts if they run after <laughs> Matty. He's out there bringing the anchor in. Jade, say something cool. No. <laughs> say something cool. <laughs> That's how you can, you can judge how good of a friend you have if they move your uh, boat in for you. <laughs> We're gonna get soaking wet. Maddie and Jade's got their first boat. 565 Quintrex with a 175 Suzuki on the back. It absolutely hauls ass. All right, so which parent does she love more, Jade or Maddie? You better come with me. On your mark, <laughs> get set, go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even batter an eyelid at Jade. <laughs> One nil. <laughs> One nil. <laughs> All right, ready? Just cover her eyes for a sec. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh. What's this? Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. oh she's going to change. <laughs> yeah, right. -o. Hang on. It's hard with the dog. It's a hard dog, right? Like. But you're both good. Good sports. Good sports. Hey, Matty. Say something cool. No. <laughs> Well, that was good. That was good TV. Cool, eh? Hopefully the wind dies off. We don't yeah, have to cool. do dog races anymore. Because <laughs> the wind's still blowing its ass off. We, uh, we were telling stories about when we were younger, because me and Maddie have been friends since we were young fellas. And we used to do this thing where you put the stick well, a broom on your nose. You spin around 10 times looking up at the broom and you get to put it on the floor, chuck it on the floor and try and jump over it. Jade thought she'd do it very easily, and I haven't laughed so hard in my entire life, I don't reckon. She did it, spun around. We got footage. If she'll let me put it on there, I'll show you. She chucked it on the ground and just started running sideways and just planted straight into the sand. I couldn't stop laughing. This is going to be good. You better spin fast. So this is how you do it. It goes on your nose. You look straight up like that. You spin around 10 times, chuck it on the floor, and then you've got to try and jump over it. Easy as that. Okay, go. One. 
nine, ten, go. <laughs> Jump over it. <laughs> well, you did pretty well. Thank you. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? No, it's Try it. Direction. You can't jump over it. All right, Maddie. <laughs> You're up, mate. One, two, eight, four, five. Spin quicker. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go. Yes! <laughs> now she's doing it right. Go. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, eight. <laughs> oh. I, reckon, I was about to say, I reckon we get one of these random fellas. <laughs> I'm going to ask one of these random dudes coming up now if they'll do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Righto. Right this is Leo. He was just cruising up the beach. We've pinned him down because it's windy and boring. He's going to do the broomstick challenge. So I've told him the rule. Go. One. Two. You got to spin faster. Three. Yeah. Four. Four. Come on. Six. Unfortunately, the GoPro let me down again and went flat. But then again, so did Leo. So Leo's just called one of his mates now from their camping down a bit further than us. Is he like one of those fellas who thinks he's legit good at stuff but not... Or should I not do this? Because it might get you in the shit. <laughs> no, I reckon he'll just think it's easy. <laughs> he'll think it's easy like Jade. Here he comes. He looks half cut already. Is that there? Doesn't he? All right. Leo's throwing Ben under the bus here. He's going to do it now. All right. On your nose. Straight up. Go. One. Two. You're going to spin a lot quicker than that. Three. Four. <laughs> How hard is it? Yep, very hard. <laughs> Sand and shit everywhere. <laughs> more, more people. <laughs> this is great. We got people from other campsites watching us do this now and now they're coming up for a good go at it. Look at this, we've gone from four to a lot more. <laughs> There's a couple other victims coming from this campsite down here. Here's the victims. <laughs> I'll do us proud, What's your Ruth? name? Tom. Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Adam. All right. All right, Tom knows how to do it. She's a bent stick, a, mate. A look She's a bent this. stick. Yeah, just, just look at the tip. <laughs> Righto, here he goes. One. Two, three, oh. four. Oh, you gotta go faster than that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put it out, jump over it. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah, man, <laughs> oh my god. Harder than it looks, eh? <laughs> Righto, now we got Tom's mate Ryan. He's gonna give it a crack. Yeah, watch this. So all you gotta do, yeah. tip of the nose, yeah. look straight up in the air, spin around ten times, chuck it on the floor, jump over it. Yeah, right. That's hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. Easy, easy. Yeah, you gotta look straight up. Yeah, that's it. One, two, three, you gotta spin faster than that. Four. Five, six, <laughs> seven, seven, seven. <laughs> Quick, redeem yourself. Did I win? <laughs> he won. <laughs> oh my God. So it's a party, you won mate. Thanks mate, I'll take it. We'll pick up the rubbish. <laughs>
Yeah, don't leave that in. How's that? There you go, mate. <laughs> That's me forehead looking. <laughs> she, she all right? <laughs> you need to lead by example and do one oh, more now. Oh. The redemption. Lead, lead by example, I reckon. See how it's done, boys. All right. You ready? Ready to go, let's spin. One. No, you need to go faster Three. than that. Faster than that. Three. funniest thing that's ever happened I reckon as you can see the wind is still howling golden hours kicking in shortly I don't think we're gonna do any fishing today it's definitely backed off but it's still too windy to head out it's probably about 17 knots golden hour that time of the day when the sky gets lost in the fire when you get cleaned up after a big day and conversation about old times start to flow and those that have taken cover all day start to rise and the already risen don't make a sound. You stoke up the fire, sit back to watch the gold fade to black. I may not have gone where I intended to go but I think I ended up where I needed to be. Yeah, I know. It's way easier than what we're doing. Mate, your dog's living the dream, eh? Who's this one? <laughs> so Maddie and Jade are having, uh, what are you having, mate? Spag bog. Spaghetti and meatballs. And we are having hot chips and steak. <laughs> so, I wanted to give a shout out to this thing here. This mob contacted us and said, would you like to try out our product? It's like a 12 volt power bank slash generator, inverter. It's got twin 240 inputs. It's got four USBs, SIG plug, and you can also charge it off solar. So whack out some solar panels, and there you go. Take it home, plug it into 240 volt, charge it up, took about three hours two and a half, three hours to fully charge from empty. So we're gonna cook some chips on the air fryer tonight with this. We've been charging the GoPros, phones, the bloody Yui Boom all day on this. Gives you all your stuff on here. Look at that, charging everything. I'm drawing three watts at the moment out of a thousand. So been charging that stuff all day. Haven't lost one bar yet. <laughs> Got some chippies? Pack light, he says. Pack light. <laughs> Going in the air fryer. This is more of an experiment. Yeah, we got that. Plug it in first. Yep. Plug him in. Put him on AC. Chippy mode? Chippy mode. <laughs> so we'll report back to you soon with this. That's pretty cool. We're charging all our stuff and cooking some hot chips in the air fryer. <laughs> oh, we're bloody camping. Steak and chippy. Steak and chippy. Alrighty. How big was that? <laughs> What's that? 20 minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Hot chips. Hot chippies. Ooh. They hot and hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't burn your fingers. So there you go. I've had our stuff charging all day. And we just cooked all the chips and that on there. And we've used half the power. Dunsky. Alright, that's us done for the night. Too windy to do anything else. We're gonna do this, go to bed, get up about four in the morning, head offshore fishing, see if we can get a fish finally.
charcoal steak there. That's good. That's how you want it. <laughs> Yum. Good morning. Good morning. Ready to go fishing? Mm-hmm. Woken up. It's about 4.30. Quarter to five now. And it's beautiful. Maddie and Jade are half packed up. Cooked up some snags. How do you feel about going offshore for your first time? I'll let you know when I'm white knuckling. <laughs> White knuckle, two dogs in tow. How do you feel about going offshore for your first time, Maddie? <laughs> first time. So, oh, you know what I mean. First time in your boat. Pretty excited, mate. Been oh, up yeah? since three. And he was laughing at me because I packed too many clothes, apparently. And I'm like, I've got leggings under my trackies and a shirt under my jumper. I packed a jumper, boardies, jocks, and a shirt. It's about what you packed, Burns? No, he packed I'll more pack than I did. I packed a fair few boardies. <laughs> Rightio, we're in the water, and we are late. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but the sun's reflecting off the buildings over on the mainland. That's Brisbane City over there. Hasn't quite risen over Strata yet. Just looked at the live current on the wave boy out offshore and it's doing two and a half knots. Um, it's going to be difficult to fish, difficult to anchor, so we'll see how we go. We'll try and anchor. If not, we'll drift. Maddie and Jade's first time offshore. Maddie's been so excited the whole time. Would love to see him get a big fish. Um, I'd love to get a big fish myself or else won't be doing no jaws. We won't stop or anything, we'll just go straight out and start fishing and uh, fingers crossed we can get a good one. Hey, guess what? What? Remember the crab pot yeah, thing I yesterday? Yeah, I actually was <laughs> kind of regretting that. That was a bit too key after someone said you could get food poisoning. I know, yeah, I just remembered the crab pot deal. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Look at the haze. Oh, it's smoke coming from their fire. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Spot locked, the rods in the water. Maddie's anchored just over here, and the current is hooting. So I don't think we'll be anchored for long anyway. Uh, we'll have a crack here for an hour and then we'll push out wider. Hopefully, we can pull a good fish off here. It's getting a bit late and hot in the season for snapper, big snapper. Anyway, you never know your chances. Now when everything starts heating up, all the temperature and that, you start getting your big current. So two and a half knots today makes it a little bit hard. We've got the gun on board here. <laughs> I'm not the snapper gun. Yeah, the fish magnet, but no, nah, not really. Very quiet so far. Getting a hiding from small fish every drop, so I think we'll be here too long. Current makes it so hard. Oh, C says he's getting annihilated there. <laughs> 
the little squirrels. All right, so there we go. Just fishing a big bait school with fish on it. Fish were holding really close to the bottom before. If one comes through again, I'll show you. All right. First drop says he's onto a good snapper. I've got to, uh, I've got to fear that's a good fish there. Yeah. I might pull mine in, eh? She's got a good snapper here. Just little pumps. Oh, that's a good fish. Look at the dolphins flying past. She does it again. Dog, does it I? again? Here, I'll get it with this. All right, <laughs> we'll get some jaws out of him. <laughs> Righto, so that was on a Pat Noster. Bit of cuttlefish. We're out in 60 meters. <laughs> hey, well done, sis. Thanks, baby. He's a good one. Nice jumpers. And we're gonna show you how to get those jaws out. She's doing me again already. Uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. Ah, uh, far out. <laughs> brain uh, spite and gill clip him. Um, just use a thing that a fella on Instagram contacted me about, a little brain spike, and he posted it out to me. Stop. Using a little brain spike here that Stuart Ross made me. So thank you, mate. Told you we'd use it. Anyway, I'll put this fella out of his misery. And um, I've already gill clipped him. That's him gone. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you proof that Sarah is arsy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. More arts than class. Says right. he. Show him. Show him what you caught the big snapper on. It's fine quality rig. Pat Nostar, P tackle big gun, and just the head of a cuttlefish. I'm fishing full slimy float line. And she just bangs a big snapper. Do what Sarah does. Just whack on the shittest bit of bait you got and cast it where there's no fish. And you'll definitely catch one. <laughs> you claim to teach me everything I know. I know. No, yeah, you're teaching me now. Actually, while we're out here, I might uh, take a moment to say thank you to everybody who has been buying our merch lately. We recently just done the biggest order of uh, apparel that we've done since we started four years ago. And it has been going bonkers, hasn't it, sir? Sure. Bonkers, absolutely crazy. So thank you to everyone. Hats, jerseys, grey wash shirts, grey wash tees, ladies tees, kids jerseys, uh, far out heaps. So anyway, thank you to everyone who has gone onto our website and done that. It means a lot. It's awesome. And we love it. little blue hole that we've come across. Oh. Look at the watercolour. 
brought Matty into Flat Rock just to have a look how beautiful it is. There's strictly no fishing here. You're allowed to dive, no spearing, but have a look at that. Wow. Found a little blue hole. Just on the western side. There's this cool little pool I'll take you over and show you quickly. I'm having some major drone problems lately. Uh, I think I'm due for a new one. It was completely spacking out then and it was that hot I couldn't even touch it, so... cave down there if any of the divers watching this has any cool pictures of um, around flat rock here just cool fish that you've taken photos of send them to us I'd love to see them this pick I got at this exact spot a year ago big Queensland groper a grain earth shark and a snapper in the background First time coming in through the bar too. It's beautiful in here. You can still see where these would be breaking. There's a little one breaking there. Just pick the deepest channel. You come around, you round this spit, back in towards Flinders Beach, straight out. It's easy. 1.5 meters of easterly swell on it, but not so easy. Pretty happy that we got that snapper early on because offshore and the bay has been dead as. We've got a couple of bites here chasing some blueies. Maddie and Jade are packed up this morning so they don't have to come back to camp. We've still got to go back to camp, pack everything up, check those bloody crab pots. But um, yeah, we're about to call it quits now and head back to camp. Wind's just starting to puff about 10 knots now so might beat it back. About 50,000 boats coming down here at the moment. All right. Now, yeah, it's a bit of a trade-off, isn't it? Really. <laughs> we just got back to camp. Um, have a look how nice it is in here. The easterly breeze has got up now. So that means it's offshore here, so this afternoon will just be unreal. But it's Sunday, Arvo. Tomorrow's Monday. Work. So... Fortunately, we won't be able to enjoy it. I'm gonna come back, pack up, maybe have a beer and chill out for a bit and then uh, start heading home. But Zez just went for a walk along the sand, found four cuttlefish bones. There's another one down there actually. Show you what she makes with them and like palm leaf husks and all sorts of stuff like that. So she actually does it for a bit of a hobby and a bit of a money earning thing. So if anyone's interested in buying one, I'll show you a photo, have a look at this make them from scratch don't you bud yep it's very clever anyway i better help pack up it's bloody warm in here Ew, legs are red <laughs> snapper slayer yeah yeah i'm a bit nervous about this crab sand crab thing <gasps> to be honest they're just out there baking mm. hopefully one last winner will jump into your pot yeah Lost the snapper, but it'd be nice if I could win that. Ready to leave? No. I'm not ready to find out who has to eat a fish on. Yeah, <laughs> so that's our next thing. All right, we're gonna go check this first pot, which is mine. See who's got the most. Bit windier out here, as I was saying, the easterly is blowing. All right, I'll pull it up. You can film. Oh no! So this is my pot. Sarah's is up there. <laughs> we had chicken in them, which we don't usually use chicken for sand crabs. But anyway, come on, sand gods, sand crab gods. 
<laughs> Is there even anything in it? Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> There's nothing in it. <laughs> it was upside down. <laughs> it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. How's there nothing in that? That's not good for you. There's nothing. Not even a crab. I'm actually shit now. <laughs> not real happy with that result. I'll give you the hot tip. Anyway, let's see if Sarah's has anything in it. I am not meant to eat this eyeball. The rope just literally snapped. It was old. Look at this. How the hell does that happen? It just pulled. I lost me pot! How deep is it? You're 4.2 meters. Nah, far out. Hey, look at these sharks following us along. How's that? <laughs> I'm trying to jig the crab pot. <laughs> Look at this. With Sarah's jig, we got sharks just following us along. That was an anti-climax, sorry people. I had no crabs in mine and Sarah's must have got prop chopped or something on the um, on the rope. So anyway, uh, no one's eating an eyeball, eh? Yes. <laughs> five five. <laughs> oh my God, that was the worst five. That's just laughing because Sarah goes, oh, being a main thoroughfare, uh, boat probably come through and prop chopped it. I'm like, thoroughfare? What's a thoroughfare? She's like, have you heard of a thoroughfare? And I'm like, never. <laughs> Has anyone heard of a thoroughfare? Oh my God. It's a channel. Hang on. Is this a Western Australian thing? Thor oh, okay. Um, yeah, I didn't get any crabs in mine. Hers got prop chopped through the thoroughfare. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we're gonna head home now. I'm gonna chop this snapper up. I'm gonna chop its jaws out. I'm gonna teach you how to make your own little trophy out of their jaws. So stay tuned. just completed the mammoth task of cleaning everything up and washing the boat. This says he's snapper from today. It's a buddy. It's a good snapper, sir. What I'm going to do is show you is how to um, cut the jaws out and then make the jaws and set the jaws in a nice little open uh, setting like that. It just looks awesome. It's a bit of a, once you get a trophy fish, you know, you, most people throw the head away. I use it for crab bait. This is an awesome thing to do. Wait till you see his big teeth in that, so. This one's gonna come out good because he's got a lot of teeth. So it's a bit soft through here. You got a bit of a soft area through there under the eye and around the back here. What I use is a little uh, tomahawk. Stand back. Yep, fiskers, sharp as. I just strike down through there and then I'll go along the back here like that and I'll take that whole area out and then I'll show you after. I won't do it because it's a bit brutal. <laughs> I'll show you once Not I've for got him apart. Yeah, don't want to show that to everyone. Anyway, cut him through here, cut him through here and I'll show you his jaws after I do that. That there will go in the boil for a few minutes. We'll show you that inside. And then you're able to pull the meat and everything off the teeth really easily. It comes apart really easy actually. The worst part is the smell oh. of the fish boiling. All right, we're back home now. All showered up, nice and clean. It's, it's awesome going camping. It's our favorite thing, but my next favorite thing is having a shower when I get home. I feel like a new man. Anyway, here's the snapper. Looks a bit more appealing now in the clear little uh, container here without the rest of the stuff hanging off it. Anyway, all I'm doing is bringing water to the boil in a decent sized pot. Like you can see there. All right, I'm gonna drop him in for probably three or four minutes. I'll show you. Pull him out, pull all the meat apart in the sink. Harley, my dog, 
loves the uh, meat, so she eats it afterwards. Um, <laughs> grab the missus toothbrush and start scrubbing all the uh, cooked meat out from between the teeth. <laughs> and I'll show you that too. Water's boiling. Go in there. And a warning, if you've got a shed or a patio or whatever with a little cooker outside, probably best you do it on there. It doesn't smell great. Sarah's lit a... Uh, incense. Incense there, so... It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. A bit worse than crap. <laughs> yeah, it's actually not that bad, really. Mm. <laughs> you want to flip it over during it. So if it's a decent size snapper, or if you've got a bigger pot, it's all right. You can see the meat starting to peel away from the bones here. He's ready to come out. Whoa. It's a boy. <laughs> well, there's dinner, sir. Yeah. I'd rather eat the fish eye than that, actually. Rightio, so he's boiled. Leave him out for about 10 minutes to cool down. And you'll see the meat just peels off like that literally just pulls away you do have to be a little bit careful that you're not just tearing everything apart there's his bottom jaw probably could have boiled him a little bit oh no that's all right need that one that one Top jaw will split apart into two. These, the two bits that are quite sharp like this, really sharp, almost like a, look like a shark's tooth. You wanna get those bits. So what they do is they slot into the bottom jaw like that and make the bottom jaw complete. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Alright, so there you go. So you should end up with two top ones, two side ones, the bottom jaw will stay in one piece, and the two bits that connect into the bottom jaw. So two, four, six, seven pieces. That's it. Alright, then all you gotta do is grab the missus toothbrush and uh, in between the teeth here and just scrub. I get all that, just give it all a good little wipe over. So and that's what it should look like at the end. That's before you brush his teeth, that's after. Do the same with the bottom teeth, clean it all out, get all in between the middle bits here, all that loose, you know, cartilage. Do it on every piece and you're done. Or let them dry out. Whack it in some peroxide, turn them completely white, then we'll glue them back together in probably two days. So, so that's a snapper I did last time. He was only an 80 centimetre one, just practicing for when we get another big one, but I didn't put him in peroxide, that's just normal. He's a good tusky, that says got all the chompers on that. So different. Mm. I'll show you how to glue it all together and some cool little trophies. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so it's the next day, just got home from work. I'm gonna run through this as best as I can. I've got a couple of cameras set up around here. So what are you gonna want? Some glue and just your missus glue gun. Two jaw bones and two side plates of your jaw bones. You got your bottom jaw bone and you got the two bits. The sharp bit will slot in along there. That's what I wanna do. Get your glue gun inside, put a nice dob of glue in there. That will just slot in there like that. And I just hold it for about 10 seconds. Then you got your other plate, gonna go on the other side. Once that sets, mate, she's not going nowhere. That starts to add a bit of dimension to your jaw there. Now's where it gets a little bit trickier. That's the easy part. So. So that's the outside of the jaw there. This part here is gonna face down. And it's the same with most of the fish I've found. So 
The Toskies are the same, just a little bit different shaped, but this will slot just up on there, like this. And then this knuckle bit, that's gonna be your hinge for where your jaw opens. So what you wanna do is once you've seen where it's gonna go, squeeze a dob of glue on there and on there. What we're gonna do is hold that on there and we're just gonna wipe that bit of excess off it pushes out. Okay, so that's set already. So you can see that that's set on there. In the back now, I like to put a bit of strength in her. So I just go down that back join. I go in that join a little bit more too. Down the back there and down that back part. And once that's dry, she's going nowhere. This is where it gets tricky. With these two bits, that's the front of the mouth, you need to hold these straight. And you also need to line up these two knuckles, which will go down on the very back right there. You'll see where they hinge, where it's checked out already. They will sit in there like that, like that. You really have to line them up pretty well. You will get a little bit of movement out of it but once it's glued so it's not the end of the world what i do first of all is i squeeze it between those two cavities and i just hold it in my two fingers for a while so that's set there they're pretty good now so what i'll do is i'll double check my widths uh, so when you have it right this is where it's difficult you want to get it right how you want it both bits down like that. Put a big dob of glue right on the back where it hinges. You really want these bits completely dry before you start to um, allow the full weight of the front of the jaw to pull down and pull this apart. Uh, if it's not properly set, your jaws will start to close and you don't want that. You can tell if this glue it starts to go hazy, that's when she's started setting pretty well. There you go. Your own pair of snapper jaws. They're awesome, I love them. So that's the third pair I've done. They're quite easy. The boss has just got home too. Hello. Hello. Very good. Oh, very good. <laughs> well done. Thanks. Makes a nice little shrine. Decorative thing. And brag to your mates about them. Oh, well, I hope you all enjoyed that episode. Uh, we've had a ball filming that one, didn't we? We did, yes. I love that. So anyway, send us some photos of um, the stuff you guys make. Hopefully I was clear enough with explaining it to you. I'm not real good at that part of it. But anyway, once again, if you want to support us, head over to outaline.bigcartel.com. We've just loaded up with a heat new gear. So we've got singlets whole big batch of fishing jerseys. We've even got some weatherproof gear coming, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, thanks again, guys. Uh, see you on the next episode. Miss the camera. If you enjoyed this episode and are keen to see more, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram.